I'm Al Phil Reese. I'm Anna Safford. And this is Mod Po Minute, actually five minutes. We're hoping to scratch the surface of a short poem that we like. So let's get started. I'm here with Jason Siska. Hi, Jason. Hi, Al. We're going to talk about a poem by John Wieners. I'll read it, and then we'll talk about it. Okay. Okay. It's called Two Years Later, and it's quite an intense poem. Mm -hmm. The hollow eyes of shock remain. Electric sockets burnt out in the skull. The beauty of men never disappears, but drives a blue car through the stars. Mm. Well, we have the first stanza and the second, and they're very different, but I guess right. the first sets up the second. How does it set it up? Well, it sets it up because uh, one would think with hollow eyes and sockets burnt out that uh, beauty, blue, and stars might disappear. Right. <laughs> but in fact, they're there. I mean, if there's a story here, it's that he had shock treatment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? So he was being treated, John Wieners was, being treated for, you know, mental ill health. Right. I actually saw... That was the treatment. I saw one of his last readings that was at Brown, um, and it would have been long after he had had the shock treatment. Yeah. And, um, but he read his poems beautifully. Yeah. And, um, I mean, part of me thinks of this as a response to Creeley's, uh, let's, let's get a big car. Oh, you think so? Well, I don't know. Yeah. At least drive a blue car through the stars. I like that. Yeah. But, but it strikes me, Jason, that mm -hmm. he's saying, I mean, he doesn't say yet the beauty of men never disappears. Mm -hmm. But that's sort of what's happening. He's saying, like, they can, you get the feeling that the shock treatment was partly because one of the many ways in which John Wieners was non-normative right. was that he liked men. Right. So he's expressing queerness and he has shock treatment, but you can't, you can't take love away from him. What right. he loves. Right. And the title, I think, is uh, beautiful. Just two years later, the two kind of echoing the eyes and mm. um, that we know the, the shock of, of just the word shock and sockets uh, arrest us in an instant of, of the, the actual shock treatment. Yeah. And the second stanza maybe two, le two years later after that absolute instant um, shows that, that both what was there before and what was there after um, still remain. And, and, it, and it's, a, it's a double queer kind of poem because He's both talking about uh, the non-normativity of mental illness and talking about the non-normativity of the beauty of, of, of loving the beauty of men. But, uh, and to drive a blue car through the stars. That's amazing. Is, uh, yeah, it's, it's an exquisite image. I mean, <laughs> It's, if this were a 50-line poem and it ended with that line, we right. would say, I'm never going to forget that image. Right. But it's essentially a four-line poem mm -hmm. and manages to drive a blue car through the stars. Right. That's poetry. Yeah. He, you can't kill the queerness, and equivalently, you can't kill the poetry. You can't. And, and, it goes, and the two like words that hang on their last lines are, we go from skull to stars. To stars. And, and we've got the internal rhyme of car and stars. Yeah. And this is a very carefully crafted poem by a person who's probably a little strung out. Right. And, and yet can say that something never disappears. Yes. Um, yeah. And that is 
uh, kind of infinitely present and that uh, no degree of isolation or yeah. uh, illness can yeah. kill that beauty. Yeah, and you got me down in four lines, but I still have a poem in me, too. Right. Yeah. Jason, thank you so much. This thank was great. Thank you so much, Al. Yeah. If you liked this episode, watch another and subscribe. And join us for ModPo, a free and open course at modpo.org.